A security void was created by the uprising in 2011. In the years that followed, militants took advantage of that and infiltrated Egypt's borders. Tourism has been worst affected by the security threat. It's Egypt's main source of foreign currency. The military has made gains against terror groups, though. And President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi has been focused on economic reforms. Still, much of the damage has already been done. The Minister of Antiquities earlier this week announced the closure of 20 museums due to a lack of visitors. In 2010, tourism revenue reached $15 billion, which is more than we need as the IMF loan. We depended heavily on tourism and service sectors. Unfortunately, Egypt is not depending on industrial economy but service economy, and this is always vulnerable to political developments. The country's new economic vision includes more industrial and agricultural projects. They're intended to lessen Egypt's dependency on tourism. So President Sisi's trip to China and the G20 summit could be key. President Sisi and the whole economy is relying a lot on this trip positively. There are investment targets such as the solar power project for 1,000 megawatt, and Sisi will also benefit from the trip by promoting the Suez Canal, as China has the Silk Road to boost international trade, and this will greatly benefit Egypt economically at this crucial time. Egypt is at a crossroads. It's been supported financially by its Arab neighbors, but now badly needs investments from China and the G20 to sustain itself in the coming years. Yes, Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.